Hello everybody. I am here with System Test 3.5. Now you're wondering, what? 3.5? Huh? Well, because this isn't System Test 4. This is kind of a special test before System Test 4. Because I want to show off my new method of wiring on my system. So all the notification appliances have changed, but the pole stations are the same. So I'll go ahead and show you. See the I still got the Firelight BG-8 over here, and I still got the Firelight BG-12 over here. But, what's different is, where the power box is... What? What is that? Well, it's an audible silence switch. As I said, I wired my notification appliances for 4-wire. So now, 4-wire devices and 2-wire devices that are horn and strobe only can be set up for audible silence. So I do have audible silence going on in the system right now. So by the way, right here I have my switch, of course. So I'll go ahead and just show you the device I've got. I've got the strobe here that I put up my Gentex Commander 3, strobe only, and it's set on 30 candela this time. Not as bright as last time. And I've got the System Sensor Spectral Advance. Yeah. <laughs> I really hate this thing, but I'll use it. <laughs> it's very loud. And now we're here to demonstrate a four-wire combo alarm. I got put up my spec alert. P24-1575. So, yeah. I think that was up for system test one or something. I can't quite remember. But I put it back up. 1575 Candela. I think it looks nice up there, actually. So, yeah. Anyway. I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate my alarm system setup by just key activating the pull station. I don't feel like pulling it again. Somehow my key is upside down. There we go. All right. So if you're ready to go, I'm ready to go. In three, two, one. So I silenced it, and now all the strobes are still flashing. That thing is bright, still on 30 candela. And that's 1575 candela, but the spectral lights are always bright. I don't know why. They're kind of synced. They're almost synced. And now when you reset the pole station or reset the device that's been activated, the strobes will shut off. So it's almost like an automatic reset thing, but you do have to turn back on the horns. And I'll show you how I exactly wired this up. So let me grab a screwdriver and I'll pop these two devices off. So you can see four different colors in here. The green and the white are the horn wires. Green is horn negative and white is horn positive. Now if you look in here, you can see there's a red going there. Then there's a white going to there. So when the switch is activated, it it sends power through. When the switch is off, it cuts power to all horns. So, and yeah, that's that's I took out the jumper plug in that one because it's not necessary. I was like, I'll show you on this. You've got well, it's a messy box, but you've got your um, negative, your strobe negative, and your Horn, I mean, and your strobe positive. There we go. Ugh. This thing's always a challenge to get back on when it's on the wall. There we go. Wait, oh, come on. Jeez. There we go. Huh. And cover plate. I like that strobe ever since I got it. Anyway, we'll go ahead and activate the second pole station, do another round of this. Oh, let me put the horn back on first. Exit signs. Oh. And that thing is quite bright, actually. Alright. 
I will go ahead and give it a pull. This one I'm actually going to pull down. So here we go. And the strobes are still on. They are like in almost perfect sync. They are in perfect sync. Let's go reset the pole station. Yeah, the alarm LED is on. There we go. You know what, let's do a quick key station test. I had to reset that first. So yeah, this is how I wired it basically for audio while silence when you saw the video back in, I, oh gosh, I think it was like July. When I did the audio silence in the basement with all the spectral alerts. Yeah, that's how I did it. So, just show you again. <laughs> you heard the little chirp effect. Yep, <laughs> that's the chirp effect. Let's just reset that back to normal. The strobe stop, the alarm goes out, and we reset. Now this LED is wired to the strobe knack, so it's non-silenceable, just like all the strobes, they're non-silenceable until the pull station or device is reset, which I kind of really like how I set that up. I actually like this board in general, because I think it looks... More like a demonstration of how a fire alarm works. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna put labels on of it. Like this is. You can obviously see this is the pull. This is the pull station, and you got your. Um, you got your test station. You got your. You got your strobe. You got your horn, and then you have your silencing switch. So it it, it almost looks like a fire alarm board. Well, I mean, it almost looks like a real fire system for a demo demonstration. I'm using this for demonstration purposes. This board, that's the purpose of me actually putting this together. So, and yeah, the smoke detector's still there. I didn't think about testing that. I don't even have my magnet, do I? No, I don't. Hopefully, I'll get that tested soon. <laughs> I always seem to test it off camera, but we'll do it eventually. I may actually replace that with an i3 eventually. I'm trying to get a 2W-B, so it'll work better on my system. Anyway, guys, wow, eight minutes. All right, <laughs> that's enough of a video, I'd say. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.